Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here with another quick tip for anyone who uses LearnDash. Now, as you're aware, LearnDash is a plugin for the massively popular WordPress platform. And what you may not know is that behind the scenes, WordPress has something called a REST API. Now, without getting too much into detail, a REST API is an interface that developers can use to access a WordPress platform from outside of the installation itself. So it might be a separate website or platform and they can use the REST API to pass data backwards and forwards between these two. But there's something about the REST API that we thought LearnDash admins or site owners might want to be aware of. And that is a feature here. So I'm on a, a WordPress site uh, is it using LearnDash and the Astra theme. I'm not logged in. I'm just a normal person visiting this. But you might be interested to see what happens here when I type in forward slash WP hyphen JSON forward slash WP forward slash V2 forward slash users. So what we get here is a list of anyone who's created a public facing post or page on your LearnDash platform. And this isn't a bug and it's not a vulnerability and it's nothing really to do with LearnDash at all. It's more of a, a WordPress feature. But it's worth knowing about because what you sometimes find is that you get bots doing something called username harvesting. And what they're doing is searching websites for the usernames of potentially the admins or the people who have access to the site. And what they'll do with that is then try and break into the site because they might have a portion of their username and password. They might be able to guess the username from it. And as you can see here, this is a test user, by the way, just a demo, but without having to log in or anything like that, I've just gone to a site and typed in this bit and I can see who could potentially be a site admin because they've created a post on this page. And with a bit of guesswork, I might be able to suss out what their email address or username might be. And from that, if they have a weak password or they don't have something like two-factor authentication enabled, I might be able to guess a lot of passwords or do something called a brute force attack and get into this LearnDash platform. So what can you do about this? Well, you might already use the WordPress API or the LearnDash API with other platforms and, and you're fully comfortable with this and know what's going on and that's all fine. But if you don't use the API for any reason, then there's no real reason for you to have this information available to anyone who comes to your site. And there are a couple of ways you can block this. The first is to install a plugin like WordFence. And WordFence is a popular security plugin. And what they did when they came across this potential um, vulnerability here was within their WordFence plugin, they automatically block this from happening. So if you have a WordPress platform and installed WordFence, it would block this. So no one would be able to see this. If you don't want to install a plugin, there are ways around that too. So there's a site here, um, a list, so a, a GitHub thread here that uh, we'll put a link to in the YouTube description that has a way that you can either block the REST API in full, uh, if you ever wanted to do that, but also block this specific endpoint here that shows the users. And if we scroll down to the option here on March the 8th, what you would do is copy this bit of code here and then put it into your themes functions.php file. And then once that's in there and you've uploaded it to the site, this would then be blocked. So I'm going to pause the video now and just apply this uh, to, to, the, to my site here and I'll show you what, what happens. So I've now copied this bit of code into my functions.php file. And if I go back to the page that was previously showing this information and refresh it, it will be blocked and it will say no route was found matching the URL requested. So that information is now no longer available. So we just thought this is something you might want to know about and potentially block. It's not, as we say, a bug or any real vulnerability, but it's something that um, you should potentially be aware of as a LearnDash and WordPress site owner.